All right, Lander, uh, gonna show you how to turn this smoothing group wall into this smoothing group wall. So let's open up Hammer real quick right here. That is annoying of ass bullshit. Anyway, uh, Operation Black Mesa. And up link. <clears throat> All right, so let's zoom over here to your wall. Uh, I'll maximize this window. So I already checked out your map earlier, and um, it looks like you did the right thing. You put all of these faces into the smoothing group three, so they're all sharing a smoothing group on this curve. Um, one thing that I noticed that you can do immediately um, to make your smoothing groups look better is to select all these faces of the curve and turn your light map scale down. So the lower your light map scale, the better it's going to shade as one face. So um, I brought it down to 10 to get that screenshot I showed you. Uh, you can go down as low as 8. Um, I don't recommend going any lower than that. Um, but 8 or 10 seems to be pretty good for curved uh, walls and such like that. Um, one other thing you can do is it seems like some of these faces aren't aligned properly. I can already tell by just looking at the texture visually. So you want to start with one of your edges. You want to select that face and you want to hold the Alt button on your keyboard and then right mouse button click and then select that face and right mouse button click select that face right mouse button click and keep doing that one face at a time until you get to the last face of your curved wall so you will see this is how much it was offset because they weren't aligned properly so it was offset that much that's quite a bit so um, now those are all perfectly aligned but you'll notice that obviously you have this uh, seam in the way and even though you could just you know right click and align it that way um, one thing that I like to do is I like to make my um, I like to make my, make my te make my textures, excuse me, like uh, fit pretty perfectly onto um, my brushes. So we'll try to get half of this texture sheet onto this one curved piece. So what you want to do is um, <clears throat> you want to justify a line one edge. So you have the seam. So if you justify left, you'll have the seam on this side. And now you're going to want to experiment with your X texture scale just to see which would produce the best result. So we'll do um, 135 instead of 125, and then justify left again. And then with that selected, do the Alt and right click again, and do that all the way to the last face of the curve. So you see we moved it over quite a bit. So we're close to lining that edge up. So we're probably going to want to do something more like 138, and then justify again, and then right click all the way again to the edge. So it looks like we're super close, um, really, really close. So let's just do 1385 now, and then justify again, and then continue doing your alt and right mouse button click all the way. Oop, that was weird. And then there you go, bam. And you got it pretty much perfectly aligned, so then you can just select this face over here. Um, I'm not going to alt right click onto this face like that because it's going to stretch it to the 1385. So instead I'm just going to keep that 125 and then justify align it to the right. So then these seams match up pretty darn well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there is one other thing you can do if you ever get smoothing group issues with the faces that align with your curve. So um, you can actually add multiple smoothing groups to a face. So for these edge faces, so these ones right here that actually meet, um, you can add this to group two as well, and then select that one and make it its own group two. So now they share the same smoothing group of two. So now those will smooth together as well. And you can also do the same thing over here. So add it to group one, and then that to group one as well. And that is basically it. And that will get you <coughs> your nice little smoothing group after image right here.